I'm gonna show you how to record internal audio on Mac in seconds. This is super easy to do. First thing, I'm gonna find the audio that I want to record. This is one of my songs, Sam Sulek, I just released it. I have a link listed below in the description if you wanna check it out. And let's say I wanna record the audio to this YouTube video. Of course, you can use this for any internal audio being played on your Mac. Once I have it loaded up, I'm then gonna download two programs and these are completely free. Can't beat free, right? I'm gonna download OBS, which I have right here, and then Audacity. Again, to stress, these are completely free. Once I pull up OBS, I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna go down here, click plus, and then type in any name you want. I'm just gonna go out like, woo, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Then I'm gonna click plus again, and click Mac OS screen capture. Now once I do, I'm gonna hit okay again, this is typically used to record your computer screen, but it also records audio when using this setting. So I can ignore this. It doesn't really matter how this looks, because remember on this video, I'm mainly focusing on recording audio. I'm then gonna click start recording. So this is now recording, right? Next, I'm gonna go to the exact audio I wanna record. In this case, the song. I'll just record the drop, or is it? I think right here, right? Yeah, there we go. So I'll just record that small section to show you. Of course, you can record anything, however you, however long you want it to be. I'm then gonna click stop recording. So now I've recorded the internal audio I want to record, right? Obviously this is just like a little snippet, but just to show you as an example, I have this file right here, the .mp4. All I'm gonna do now is bring up Audacity, like so, bring this into Audacity, I'm then gonna click the first one, or this might just load it up for you, but it should look something like this. Boom, then you have the audio right here as you can see. Next thing I'm gonna do is click File, and then Export, Export as Wave, so it's in the highest quality. I'll just call it Audio, do OK. I can close this out, because now I'm good. And boom, here's the exact audio file of whatever I recorded.